Hey, Ooh, I just wrapped up a session with this really good looking uh, young black guy. Holy crap, what a treat. It just all happened so quickly. I can't believe it's over. It was so chill. I, I did a lot of teasing. Um, I kicked him in the balls a lot. He had a foot fetish. So he was smelling my dirty feet, dirty smelly feet. And uh, I gave him a foot job and was teasing his cock with my feet. And it was really fun. He smelled really good. Big guy. Big, huge, seemingly tough guy. Thuggish, even, and just so docile when he was with me. And um, to see him walk through the door, kind of like all macho like, and then telling him to take his clothes off, and I could just see him kind of like his personality kind of shrinking, <laughs> or his his ego shrinking, not not his personality. Um, just becoming like, like a timid little animal and for his, for his size, it was uh, such an amazing transformation. And then <laughs> after it was all said and done afterwards, seeing him transform back, I'm kind of like, I'm going out tonight, I'm hanging out with friends. <laughs> um, just putting that hat back on. <laughs> guy hat that he wears um, so I'm really lucky I'm really lucky that I can do that 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 can happen it's a really amazing thing to witness what you would think would be a really masculine hard shelled man and just how soft they are underneath. It's really fascinating. And it's a shame that people don't see that. People don't see that softness. Um, everyone just has such hard walls that they put up. And, um, It's just such a surrender that it's kind of even a side that like an intimate partner might not even see. Um, there's just such a vulnerability there as well, being a stranger and submitting yourself that way to a stranger. Um, I'm sure they feel completely off guard. I can feel very off guard because they're a stranger to me and I don't know precisely their actions or motivation but it's something that I read very quickly and as soon as someone walks through the door I have to automatically get a sense for what kind of a person they are and their vibe and it's very clear to me um, as soon as they walk through the door I can tell can just kind of tell what they're about, what's going on, wh what kind of person they are outside, and then they walk up that hallway, and once they take their clothes off, what kind of person they are at that point. Um, it's important that I like them while they walk up the hall. If I don't like them, it's not going to work out. They have to walk back out um, that's never happened it's almost happened that there wasn't a wasn't really an agreeance of what was expected but it it, it worked out um, but yeah if uh, there's any confusion then they have to get the fuck out but um, it's also very important that when they take their clothes off, the person that they are sexually, that they understand that I'm in control. 
um, either they become completely submissive or there's an understanding that they have to mind their manners and pretend to be submissive and there's a complete difference and if they're not naturally submissive they have to humor me and I made that very clear um, it's just more work <laughs> when I have to fight for control and that happens um, I know, I know, uh, it's, uh, they, a person can be a bratty sub, be kind of, um, resistant to this or that, but for the most part it, it works out. People can just, uh, be difficult, <laughs> uh, everywhere we go in life people are difficult. <laughs> so, very cool. Very cool to see so many kinds of personalities. Um, it's a really cool exercise. And my favorite part of the whole thing is afterwards, after they take the shower, after the whole thing's wrapped up, and I'm sitting here, and it's all said and done. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> my favorite is the small talk at the end. It's my absolute favorite. I have had incredible conversations with people afterwards. Um, I And some people, you know, they just, they feel good. They feel, they feel satisfied, like right out the door. That's, that's what they, that's what the doctor ordered. And they're out of here and some people... You know, they tell me about traveling, they tell me about work, they tell me about their family. Or some of them, like, really need to open up to me. And that's something, like, I pry a little bit. I like asking questions and I like opening up that, uh, that window. Do you want to, do you want to talk? And sometimes they do, sometimes they're kind of a closed book. But that's, that's my favorite part. And I like learning about what so many people are like. And I like learning about different parts of the world and what people do. And how they view life and how they view work. And uh, what kind of work ethic they have. Because people that come here, they, they, work, they work hard. Um... They're paying for a session, so they, they have a little bit of uh, leisurely money. So um, it's it, they're, these are these are hardworking men that, that come through the door, and there's so many different kinds. It's really fascinating. Um, not a lot of people really get outside of that kind of circle, their circle of friends, or witness uh, such diverse lifestyles and how people, people um, just have so many different views. And I love it. 